2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the WNBA. Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Moments away, it'll be the Las Vegas Aces going up against the Chicago Sky. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. And away we go. Playoffs are here. First round, single elimination, the fifth seed hosting the eighth seed. Brian, you ready for the postseason? Heck yes. This is what we've all been waiting for. Could we see an upset tonight? I think that's the big question about this one. Well, traditionally, you look at the, the history of this uh, format. The five seed, the home team, has done very well in this 5-8 matchup. But in this uh, single elimination setup, all bets are off. Now here's Cambage. And she makes good on the layup. She presents a defender with a serious challenge. Pretty much always. Pass to Dolson. Now here's Quigley. Clock at six. Now Smith. There's the triple. Drops in the tray. That's a heads up play right there, guys. Not just on the assist, but also on the finish. Pass to Agnew. Guarded by Quigley. Here's Agnew. Let's it go from deep. Buries it from three-point range. How about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Yeah, terrific little back and forth right there, Tim. It's been a lot of fun to watch. And it's off from three-point range. You can tell she thought that triple was going to fall. She's just shaking her head after that miss. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Just five to shoot. For three. Rebound Chicago. Side, Parker to the right side. Here's Dolson, and you can count it. She'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Scoring inside, it's about a lot of things. To me, touch is most important, and Dolson knows how to get the ball in the hoop. And she's got her first opportunity at the line here tonight. Twenty seventeen was a breakout year for Stephanie Dolson. She shot fifty six percent from the field, forty four percent from three point land, and averaged almost fifteen per game, making her second All Star team. And it's Dolson with the rebound. Chicago in the lead. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes played so far. Pass to Parker. She can't hit that time. You know, typically she has the touch to finish when she's in that tight. Not sure what happened there. And it's in. How's that for a move? Her crossover is a thing of beauty. Chicago with the ball. Timeout Time called the sky. Hey fans, who wants a free t-shirt? Make some noise!
season for Las Vegas. Back to Hebert. Jefferson. Pass to Evans. The three. One up, one down. Two points in the first shot in the game. Talk about falling asleep on defense. I don't know how you can give a shooter like her that much space from beyond the arc. Here's Bias. Over Stevens. That one a little long. Hebert outside. And it's Ruthie Hebert with the jams. And she isn't the biggest power forward, but her ability to rise up pretty much evens things out. And the outside. Pass to Plum. Now here's Cambay. She's guarded by Stevens. And here comes the break. Here's Evans. No good off the back of the rim. Las Vegas trailing. And be down low. Working on Stevens. Outside Plum. Some solid defense from Ruthie Hebert. Chicago with the ball. Pass to Evans. Outside Stevens. Jefferson outside. And here's Evans. Five on the clock. Hebert. She's covered by Hamby. Here's Evans. The basket good off the assist from Ruthie Hebert. Here's McCautry. Wyatt so far offensively searching for first points of the game. Three's going Angel down quickly at both ends. Three. What an answer. You come at me with the three, I'm coming right back. Everybody gets a three. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Sky out in front, up six. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. beginning in just a moment and when you consider how the sky are doing guys what are your thoughts really good sign for them they've gotten a boost from their bench always nice to have firepower coming from the reserves and they've had firepower and then some so far Pass to Bias. Cambage. To the paint. No good that time. So Chicago will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And the basket by Brown. Showing she is more than just a shooter. Lexi Brown takes it inside for two. Here's Bias. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Pass to Young. From outside the arc, sinks Jackie the three-pointer. Well, it's a part of her game that's improving. Young's been working on that three-point stroke. Will add another dimension to her game. Jefferson outside. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Stevens and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. I admire how Stevens relentlessly crashes the boards. It's it's pretty special for a young player. And the aces call time here.
Here's Las Vegas. They trail by seven. Pass to Agnew. This one for three. Her second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. These defenders are putting up very little resistance to the three-point shot. And it's killing them for the last five makes coming from long range. Now Smith. Six on the shot clock. It's hauled in by the Aces. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Gambage inside, guarded by Dolson. Agnew with the bucket. A towering physical presence. Cambage's ability to see over defenders helps her routinely make plays. Here's Smith. She's got five. Quigley. The shot, no good. This Cambage with the defensive effort. Out to the wing. Here's Young. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Left side, Quigley. That's foul number two on her. It might not warrant just sitting her just yet, but another one before halftime it definitely would warrant that. Substitution for the Aces. Shyla Hill. Aces on D. And here's Candace Parker for three. He's now one for two with that bucket. I like the confidence we're seeing from Parker here. She knows which shots are in her range and which ones aren't. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. No good. And Chicago will come the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. From deep alley quickly. And again, it's Chicago with a three. That's just great all around. The passer gets the assist, quickly gets the points. Good teamwork. Pass to Cambage. And in this second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Just her first attempt. Hart can't get it to go. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. The extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. They're doing a nice job of stringing together solid possessions and building that lead up. Yeah, and that's the key right there. Consistency. They'll stay in control of this game if they stick with the game plan and don't waste possession. Absolutely. And the Aces call time here. Yeah, I think the coach is trying to take the wind out of their sails here. They're on the wrong end of a run and need to sort things out offensively and defensively. Yeah, things were starting to spiral out of control on them a little bit, and a timeout was a no-brainer there. Yeah, exactly, Brian. Aces with the ball. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Agnew. Cam Beige. Outside Plum. To halt the run! Some solid defense from Candace Parker. Chicago with the ball. 10-point lead. This is their biggest lead. Again, it's Chicago with a three. 
They've done good work with the ball. They've been uh, moving and getting quality chances. And their field goal percentage reflects that. They've been the much better team shooting the ball. And it's not just about shooting, Brian, as we were just mentioning. It's about moving, cutting, all the little things. You can't let your ego run on offense. And you can see she really wanted to answer that made three with a three of her own. Now here's Parker. Just five on the clock. Hits the front of the rim and out. The defense can't make a habit of giving her that shot. She just doesn't miss many of them. And the first half now in the books. Sky out in front. They lead by 13. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. wasn't even close and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third started now the ace is with it trailing by 13 Gambage with it she's against Parker pass to Park Parker defending out to the wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Agnew. And the three off target. And so it's Chicago with it. Now here's Parker. And there are the skies with another bucket. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Great ball movement. Great ball movement indeed. That's an example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Here's Agnew. She's got eight. No coverage that time. Oh, well, it's a good thing she showed up today because without her, they'd be in deeper trouble. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Now here's Quigley. He's covered closely. That one, good for two. Whoa, the long bomb. Allie Quigley has no fear to let it fly. It's in her DNA to shoot. And we're about one and a half minutes here into the second half. Fires the three. And the aces, another three. Well, she's shot a very good percentage today, and her team has needed every last bit of it. Now a timeout Chicago, called timeout by Chicago. Call. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting, and it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. Let's see who's the last.
and so it's Chicago with it. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Smith. The shot is good. Ali Kingsley making the play. The defender there in the vicinity, but not quite close enough. Good shot. Pass to McCautry. Deflected. Agnew. She's guarded by Stevens. Here's Bias. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Clock at four. Here's the three. And it's Dolson with the rebound. A solid performance inside. You know, they're rebounding. It's been terrific. They're putting together a great game, aren't they? Strong performances throughout, and they've just been strong on the glass. And it sets a tone. Pass to Stevens. Outside, quickly. And again, it's the sky from deep. A good decision maker with a strong feel for the game. Stevens can spot open teammates whenever she's out on the court. Now a timeout called by Las Vegas. Really, they're not pleased at all with the looks they've given up inside, and they want to talk to the team about tightening things up defensively. Well, that's what's got to happen, and I'm sure the coaches will let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and that's a recipe for disaster. Bias, looking for her first basket still in this one. Pass to Young. And here's Liz Gambage outside. Drills Liz it from outside. Gambage. Well, when those shots are falling, beware. Gambage is personal and shoots with confidence, so she isn't afraid to mix it up. Here's Evans. Six points for her. Outside, quickly. Jacks up a three, and again, it's Chicago with a three. I think Quigley had to answer that last shot, reminding everyone that she's been a league leader in threes. Pass to Young. Bias. Cambage with it. They double this Cambage. Aces, another three. three points. Right back at you. They immediately get those three points back. Just trading punches from long range. It's been a heavyweight fight. Now here is Stevens. Jefferson outside. And here's Evans. Stolen by Cambage. To the inside. Agnew with the bucket. They're not being as aggressive Angel from the three-point line anymore. And they had a lot more attempts in the first half. Pass to Quigley. Hebert left side. Shot clock at five. And again, it's Chicago with a three. That is not an easy shot right there. He had to get it off over a much taller defender. Yeah, needed a little arc on that one with the size mismatch, but hey, she did it perfectly. Now here's Young. Oh, there's the alley! And the ball out of play, the sky will. Really careless turnover. That should have been the simplest of exchanges. Now here's Parker. Five points in the game. And so she earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and she'll shoot two. 
Queens first. Can't let Parker catch you out of position defensively. She's too good at taking advantage of opponents' mistakes. First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. The first one falls. A true veteran in this league. Parker has seen and done just about everything. She's been playing WNBA ball for over a decade, and nothing really catches her off guard these days. He's perfect from the line this time. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. It's the Sky leading by 17. We'll be right back to the action when we return. And while we have the chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. This definitely deserves the prize. She read the defense like a point guard and put that pass right on the money. That's just some real versatility coming from her. Not something that the majority of them possess. And we're rolling here again with the fourth quarter. Might not come down to the wire, but you never know. Jefferson outside. Back to Parker. Lays it up and banks it in. Using her height to her advantage inside, Parker just pushing her way through it all and capitalizing. Pass to Cambage. Outside Plum. That three off the mark. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason they have absolutely just controlled this game. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative for sure. And it started out with the rebounding. It sets a tone. Pass to Cambage. Outside Plum. Six to shoot. Here's Park. Parker defending. Left block shot on the way. Now here's Plum. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock in it. Good work defensively by Candace Parker. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Cambage. Three-pointer connects from three-point range. Well, the D sagged off, and no hesitation on her part to rise up and bury the three. Pass to Smith. Now Jefferson. Now Heber. Back to Jefferson. Smith. Pass to Jefferson. Quigley with it. Back to Jefferson. Launches a three. Two K Sports that one. welcomes you and to the Las Vegas the other way now. of the WNBA. Outside Plum. Started by Quigley. Nice D from Allie Quigley. That's rough. No one to blame but herself. She should definitely have scored that time. I don't know what happened. He heard outside. To the middle. Parker can't connect from short range. Guarded by Quigley. 
Pass to Cambage. Outside block. Back to Cambage. Pulls it. And that one goes long. Now Parker. Pass to Smith. The kick out to Quigley. Tries to snap the cold streak. And once again, off the mark by Chicago. Back to Plum. Gambage with it. She's covered by Jefferson. Outside Plum. The three-pointer is on target. And this is the mindset Plum has to possess because when she buries quick shots, it gets her going. Parker with the ball. Ebert outside. Quigley. Pass to Smith. Now Jefferson. Outside Quigley. Here's Parker. And she battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. What energy from Candace Parker doing whatever she can to grab the offensive rebound. Appreciate the effort. Outside Plum. And the Aces, another three. No problem for Chicago as they get the win.